YouTube iBright Apps here, and today I'm going to show you how multiple actions for different alert views or action sheets in one view controller. So I'm going to start off by uh, making a new project. It'll be a view-based application, and I'll name it multi multiple alerts. All right. Now I'm going to go into my .h and declare some things. So first, add the UI uh, alert view or action sheet delegate, depending on what you uh, make. I'm going to make an uh, IB outlet for a UI label, just to change the text on a label, just to show that it works. And then, I'm going to add two actions, alert 1 and alert 2. These will be the actions to launch the, uh, the alert views. And once you've done all that, go into your .m. And you're just gonna just follow what I do here. All right. So now, make, uh, I'm gonna make my window a little bit bigger. All right. So now you're gonna make uh, the uh, IB actions again, once again, in .m, and just you're gonna add a basic UI alert view uh, code, and we're gonna have three buttons: dismiss, change label and change label to. And then everything it looks normal in here except to see this one tagline. Now what this tagline does is it differentiates the, uh, the number for the object between the multiple objects that you're making if that makes sense to you. So pretty much I'm just making its tag 1 here. And then here I'm gonna make it 2. So the code will know which one I'm talking about by this tag method that I'm using this tag property. So pretty much just do your variable dot tag space equals space one or whatever number you want that you're gonna match with later. And then I do pretty much the same thing here in the second alert view and alert two here. And I do alert two dot tag space equals space two semicolon. And then I go into my void method and it is the clicks button at index method. Now it looks pretty familiar, but there is something a little bit different here. So now in your if statement for button index space equal equal space one, you're going to add these two uh, if statements in your button index statement. That is going to add the action for each of the alert views for the first button clicked. And the reason why I'm doing it as one here is because the dismiss button is first, and I don't want to add an action to that already. So I'm going to add an action to the change label. So in that button index, I'm going to do this for the uh, first one. Then you can just do the same if you have more alert views. So I'm going to do if, start parentheses, alert view. It has to match alert view here. Do not try to match the variable. Otherwise, it will say it's undeclared. So I'm going to do alert view dot tag space, equal, equal, space, one, and parentheses, space, start bracket. Then just pretty much do whatever code you want to do here. Here, I'm just going to change the text of a label. And then I'm going to end the if statement, uh, end bracket. And then if you have another, uh, well, yeah, you'll have another alert view. Just do an if statement for alert view dot tag space equal equal space two. And then make sure for each of the uh, objects here that you're doing either action sheet, alert view, just match the tag for the tag that you made in your IB actions. All right, and then once we're done with the first button, the button, in button index equals equals one. And we're gonna do, but um, I'm gonna do a second button here. If uh, start parentheses button index space equal equal space two, then I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna do the if alert you dot tag space equal equal space one, and this will be the uh, label for the second button. And then same here for the second alert view in the second button. And then just make sure you have the enough brackets here to end all the way up until the void method until you see that little yellow thing up there. All right, so then once you're done with all that coding, just build. All right, now I'm going to launch it in the simulator. Yeah, so there's pretty much these tags, the tag numbers just match with the ones that you made in the IB actions. Oh, I forgot something. In the interface builder, in your interface builder and your resources here, 
to make sure you have the buttons. Alright, now we're going to add a round rectangular button and another round rectangular button for each of the uh, alert views. And then click your files owner and connect a label to label. Make it a little bit bigger so the text doesn't have to be squeezed in there. And then make sure alert one matches with the button that you made. And then alert two. So I'll name this alert one. And then I'll name this one alert two. Alright. So that's pretty much it. I forgot this step before when I was building. And then just do Command S and then Command Q to Command Save and then Command Quit. Alright, now we can build and run. And I'll show you how it's uh, that it works and how it's different. Alright, so I'm going to start by going to my Alert 1 button here. And you'll see that um, the change label will be first, but it's still index button 1. Alright, so now you'll see in the label, I didn't make the label a little big enough, but you'll see that it just, you'll see here. So alert 1 clicked, and then it'll say here, alert 1 clicked button 1. And then, it'll pretty much be the same for the second button. Change label 2, like I made here. And you'll see that it was different for this one and this one. And dismiss, of course, we'll dismiss it. And now, you'll see where it actually works here. I'll click the second alert view. And this will be change label and then change label 2. And you can see that alert 2 clicked button 1. And then here for change level 2, you'll see change label 2, alert uh, alert 2, alert 1 clicked button 2. So that's pretty much just showing you that the label, you know, gets changed. But this will potentially work with any type of any type of code that you want. Um, but pretty much I made this tutorial because a lot of people are having a lot of problems, you know, trying to do this, and they're not really sure how to use the tag properly. Correct. And, um, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty easy to do. I will post this uh, the source code in the description, like always. I'll post it in Mega Upload. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to have a few more tutorials coming up soon. And, uh, actually, if you want to send me, you know, an idea for a tutorial, and I'll look into it, and I'll do it. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. And enjoy.